If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from chronic back or neck pain, you've probably heard about spinal decompression therapy and the DRX 9000. But here's the question everyone's asking. Is the DRX 9000 really better than traditional traction? Today, we're going to dive deep into the science, the evidence, and what this means for your pain relief. I'm Dr. Kevin Barton, founder and managing partner of Texas Spine Clinic here in San Antonio, Texas. And in the next few minutes, I'm gonna give you the facts you need to make an informed decision about your spine health. Let's start with the reality. Back pain affects up to 80% of adults at some point in their lives. For many of you watching this, it's not just occasional discomfort. It's chronic, debilitating pain that affects your work, your family time, and your quality of life. The desire to relieve spinal compression is as old as medicine itself. Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, actually stretched patients on ladders that he propped up against trees at an angle. And let's be honest, anybody that has had significant back pain has probably thought of hanging from something to relieve those crushing compression forces on the spine. When conservative treatments like rest, medication, and basic physical therapy aren't enough, but you're not ready for surgery, you start looking for alternatives. That's where spinal decompression therapy comes in. But with so many options and conflicting information online, how do you know what really works? Today, we're comparing two approaches. Traditional traction therapy, which has been around for centuries, and the newer DRX 9000 spinal decompression system. By the end of this video, you'll understand the key differences and what the research actually tells us. Let's start with traditional traction. Modern traction therapy isn't just the old weights and pulleys you might imagine from medieval days. It can be motorized with some basic features like programming the load and the time of the treatment. But here's the critical limitation. It applies the same force pattern to every single patient with no variability or specificity other than adjusting the total weight applied to the stretch. It doesn't matter even what kind of diagnosis the patient has. Whether you're a 120 pound woman with an L5 disc problem or a 250 pound man with an L3 issue, traditional traction applies the same continuous pulling pattern to every patient. The only variable the operator can control is how much total force to apply, but the delivery method, timing, and targeting remain exactly the same for everyone. Traditional traction works on the principle of applying continuous force to stretch the spine and create space between the vertebrae. The idea is that stretching can temporarily relieve pressure on compressed nerves and discs. But here's where the science gets really interesting. Research has actually shown that traditional traction can increase disc pressure because of the muscle spasms and the guarding. When your body senses continuous pulling forces, your muscles naturally contract to protect your spine. This protective muscle response can actually work against the intended therapeutic effect. So while traction is intended to decompress the spine, the muscle guarding response can create the opposite effect, increased pressure on the very disc that we're trying to help. This is why many patients experience limited or temporary relief with traditional traction and why some systematic reviews and studies have found it often not superior to placebo or sham treatment. The fundamental problem is that traditional traction, whether motorized or manual, cannot adapt to the body's protective responses. It applies the same continuous force regardless of how your muscles are reacting, which can counteract the therapeutic goals that we're trying to achieve. But here's something crucial you need to know. Many chiropractors and therapists claim they have a spinal decompression machine when they actually just have motorized traction equipment. This is a critical distinction that can mean the difference between effective treatment and a complete waste of time and money. Modern traction equipment can look somewhat sophisticated with motorized controls, but it still applies the same continuous force pattern to every patient. These lack the advanced computer systems and the isolation of the disc level needed for true spinal decompression with variable force patterns, precision treatment, and intelligent feedback. Let me give you the history of true spinal decompression technology. 
The VAXD machine was the original decompression machine, followed by the DRS machine, and then the latest evolution, the DRX9000. Here's what's important. Out of these three machines, the DRX9000 is the only machine currently in production, still being studied, and still being supported by the manufacturer. So if a provider is telling you they have a decompression machine, it should look sophisticated like this, with computer controls, real-time monitoring displays, and the ability to create precise intermittent decompression patterns. True spinal decompression machines have computerized feedback systems, the ability to target specific disc levels, and sophisticated pressure monitoring. Don't be misled by providers who claim their basic traction equipment is the exact same thing. The technology and the results are completely different. The DRX9000 represents a revolutionary advancement in spinal decompression technology, and there are three hallmark differences that set it apart from traditional traction. These aren't just incremental improvements. They're breakthrough technologies that fundamentally change how we treat disc problems. First, the DRX9000 can precisely target the affected disc level with surgical-like accuracy. This is crucial because treatment at L5 is gonna be completely different than the treatment at L3. Traditional traction applies the same general force to your entire spine, but the DRX9000 can isolate and focus on the exact disc that's causing your problem. Think about it this way. If you have a herniated disc at L5, that's exactly where you need the therapeutic effect. We calculate this precise angle, the precise force, and the positioning needed to target that specific disc level. And then the DRX9000's computer constantly monitors to ensure you're getting exactly what was programmed, while traditional traction just pulls everything equally and everything the same. Second, the DRX9000 creates substantial negative disc pressure of up to negative 150 to negative 200 millimeters of mercury. To understand why this matters, let's look at the groundbreaking research by Dr. Gustavo Ramos, published in the Journal of Neurosurgery in 1994. Dr. Ramos conducted groundbreaking research where he actually measured disc pressures when patients were on the decompression machine. This was revolutionary because previous studies had only measured disc pressure in different body positions like standing, sitting, and lying down. Dr. Ramos proved that the decompression machine, with all the latest advancements of technology, could actually create a negative pressure or a suction effect in the disc. To put this into context, other research has shown that when you're standing, your disc pressure is about 200 millimeters of mercury. That's positive 200. When sitting, it increases to about 400, which is why sitting typically hurts more when you have a disc problem. When you lie down, the pressure drops to about 50 to 100 millimeters of mercury. But Dr. Ramos demonstrated that the decompression machine could actually reverse the pressure completely, creating a powerful vacuum effect. But here's the breakthrough. The DRX can create negative pressures of up to negative 150 to negative 200 millimeters of mercury. That's not just reducing pressure, that's creating a powerful vacuum effect that can literally pull herniated disc material back into place. Traditional traction simply cannot achieve these therapeutic pressure levels. Third, this is where the engineering gets really sophisticated. The DRX9000 uses a logarithmic curve with force feedback that checks itself 16 times per second. This means the computer is constantly monitoring whether you're resisting or fighting the stretch and adjust accordingly. This keeps you relaxed during the treatment. This intermittent pull and relaxation pattern is absolutely crucial. Your body has a natural protective response called muscle guarding. When traditional traction applies continuous force, your muscles fight back, limiting the therapeutic effect. The DRX9000's logarithmic curve and constant feedback system bypasses this response. The 16 times per second monitoring ensures that the moment your muscles start to resist, the system adjusts. This makes the treatment not only more effective, but also more comfortable and tolerable for the patient. Patients can actually relax during the treatment instead of fighting against it. These three technologies together, precision targeting, substantial negative pressure, and intelligent force feedback create therapeutic capabilities that traditional traction simply cannot match. 
It's the difference between general stretching and precision targeting for your spine. Now let's talk about what the science tells us about these capabilities. The Ramos study was groundbreaking because it proved that negative disc pressure is not just theoretical, it's measurable and it's therapeutic. Dr. Ramos demonstrated that when you can achieve negative pressures in this negative 150 to negative 200 millimeter mercury range, you're creating an environment where disc material can actually be drawn back into the disc space and degenerative disc can be rehydrated to a degree. This isn't just pain relief, this is mechanical restoration of disc anatomy. So I wanna be clear though, we can't take a completely flattened disc and restore its height back to normal, but we can improve the overall disc health and the overall disc function which is what we need to do in order to relieve your pain. The precision targeting capability means that we can achieve these therapeutic pressures exactly where they're needed. When you combine this with the logarithmic force feedback system, you get consistent reproducible results that traditional traction simply cannot match. So here's a fascinating example of what decompression can do for discs. Astronauts gain an average of two to three inches in height during space travel due to the anti-gravity effect on their discs. Over time, of course, they shrink back down when they return to Earth, but the weightless environment has a lasting effect on their overall disc health due to the rehydration of their discs. And we're not talking about just theory here. Pre and post CT scans after decompression therapy have proven actual improvement in disc height after treatment. We can literally measure the restoration of disc space and the rehydration that occurs when we achieve these therapeutic negative pressures. Recent clinical studies have confirmed what the physics predicted. Patients receiving targeted spinal decompression with these three capabilities show significantly better outcomes in pain reduction, functional improvement, and long-term success rates compared to traditional traction. The research consistently shows that when you can precisely target the affected disc level, achieve therapeutic negative pressures, and maintain patient comfort through intelligent feedback, you get superior clinical results. It's not just about applying force, it's about applying the right force in the right place in the right way. The beauty of these three technical capabilities is that they allow us to be very precise about patient selection and treatment planning. With advanced imaging like MRI, we can identify the exact disc level or levels that are causing problems and determine if a patient is a good candidate for targeted decompression. Patients with herniated discs, bulging discs, sciatica, and degenerative disc disease at specific levels are ideal candidates because we can target exactly where the problem exists. The precision targeting means we're not wasting therapeutic energy on healthy discs. During treatment, the 16 times per second feedback system ensures that each patient receives optimal therapy regardless of their individual muscle response patterns. Some patients naturally resist, of course, more than others, but the logarithmic curve adapts to each person's physiology individually. The intermittent pull and relaxation pattern makes treatment much more tolerable than continuous traction. Patients often report that they can actually relax during the DRX9000 sessions, which is crucial for achieving the therapeutic negative pressures we need. So, is the DRX9000 really better than traditional traction? Based on the engineering, the physics, and the clinical evidence, and of course my personal experience of using this technology since 2006 and treating over 2,000 patients successfully, the answer is definitely yes. Here at Texas Spine Clinic, we always use MRI or CT imaging to identify the exact disc level causing your problem. Then we employ the DRX9000's three specific breakthrough technologies to address it with precision. However, even in such remarkable technology, proper patient selection remains paramount. It's over 20 years of experience and thousands and thousands of spinal exams that truly guide us in diagnosing and selecting the right candidates to achieve optimal outcomes with this advanced treatment. If you're dealing with chronic back pain, sciatica, or disc problems, and you want to explore non-surgical options that actually target the root cause of your problem, I encourage you to schedule a consultation. We'll evaluate your specific condition, determine if you're a candidate for the DRX9000, and create a treatment plan designed specifically for your disc level and your condition. Don't let back pain control your life when precision 
non-surgical treatment options are available. Click the link in the description below to schedule your consultation and let's get you back to the activities you love. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. And if you got value out of this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. We look forward to seeing you soon.